family plays an important role in society. Not only in society, but also in the vast world of communication. Family communication was defined as being a fundamental source for learning basic interpersonal communication skills and rules. Now, let's talk about family communication pattern theory. This theory focuses on parent-child communication concerned with establishing a shared social reality. Family communication pattern theory assumes that people's beliefs about family interrelationship vary in the extent to which communication is perceived as open and as abiding by the specialized structure within the family. In 1990, Ritchie and Ritz Patrick produced more reliable measurements of the two dimensions of family communication. Conversation orientation These families spend a lot of time interacting with each other and family members share their activities, thoughts, and feelings. The second dimension of family communication is conformity orientation. Their interactions typically focus on harmony, conflict avoidance, and the interdependence of family members intergenerational exchanges. Communication in these families reflects obedience to parents and other adults. Therefore, to predict the influence of family communication patterns on family outcomes, it is rarely sufficient to investigate only one dimension without assessing the other dimension as well. Because the two dimensions of conformity orientation and conversation orientation interact consistently with one another. In effect, they create four family types that are qualitatively different. To distinguish these types is therefore a theoretical significance and not just a convenient way of describing four family types that are created by crossing these two dimensions. So the first family type is consensual families. Families high in both conversation and conformity orientation are labeled consensual. Their communication is characterized by attention between pressure to degree and to preserve the existing hierarchy within the family on the one hand. Pluralistic families Families high in both conversation orientation and low in conformity orientation are labeled pluralistic families is characterized by open, unconstrained discussions that involve all family members and a wide range of topics. Parents in these families do not feel the need to be in control of their children by making decisions for them, nor do they feel the need to agree with their children's decisions. Protective families Families low in conversation orientation and high in conformity orientation are labeled protective. Communication in protective families is characterized by an emphasis on obedience to parental authority and by little concern for conceptual matters or for open communication within the family. Laissez-faire families Families low both in conversation orientation and conformity orientation are labeled laissez-faire. Their communication is characterized by few and often lifeless interaction between family members that involve only limited number of topics. Parents in laissez-faire families believe that all family members should make their own decisions 